welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela and in today's video I am going to be teaching you how to make a little display that looks like a coat hanger. So what you're gonna need. Look it looks like this cute little drawer. Cute little cube. You can use probably whatever wood you want but I got this at the Dollar Tree and I like it a lot. And you can store stuff in it. And then also some wire. Definitely need that. And let's see what you're else you're going to need. A nifty little drill. This is one of my favorite tools. It's a hand drill. You can buy them on Amazon. I'll put it in the link below. And I think maybe we not, might need some hot glue. So get a glue stick and a hot glue gun because I think we'll need that and too. And you're also going to need some wire cutters. Don't forget those. And you'll need paint if you want to paint it. I'm not sure if I want to paint it or not. Do I want to paint it? Maybe I do want to paint it. We'll see. Now take the drawer out. You're going to take your hand drill. If you have a, like an electric drill or a battery power drill, that'll be fine too. You need to get a small drill bits because you know, this is way smaller than this bit. So we're gonna need something smaller. And it just so happens that I have some right here. I'll put a link in the description for these two or maybe I can find one that has all of them together. Anyway, what you wanna do is you wanna look around and uh, look at these and see, are they as big as the wire? Kind of figure it out, you know? If you can get one that's just the same size, gosh, I'm having a time. Just the same size as the wire, that's even better. And maybe, maybe one bigger. Yeah, there we go. That looks like that's going to work. These are pretty sim fairly simple to uh, take out. So you just screw that, pull that straight out, put this back in. You want to make sure that this uh, doesn't go all the way covering your drill piece. You just want the plain part in there. Hold it to where you want it and then just close it up. I gotta remember how I close it. Sometimes I forget. Until you just get it tight. And there you go. Good to go. Now that we got our drill set up, let's uh, figure out where we want our wire to go. Now I have this nice little triangle. It's gonna do a nice little straight line. And then that way we'll have our holes even no matter what. I'll put a link in the video below so that you have that. And let's put this right here. Uh, you have to remember that this drawer is gonna be going in. So you're gonna need it closer here because you don't want it to be rubbing up against the edge of this drawer. You know what I mean? And then get to drilling. Also, this box is pretty uh, soft wood. You could probably even wood burn something into it if, if that's your thing. I have a wood burner, but I'm not gonna wood burn anything into it. But you could, if you wanted to. Sand a little bit, you know. It does work nicely if you sand the edges down so they're not so, you know, rough. It is an unfinished box, so it is nice to kind of round off the edges a little bit. Let's see if our wire will fit. Oh, that fits perfect. In fact, I probably could have made it smaller. You're going to fit that in there as best as you can. Bend it. Now, I have these. It's used for jump rings and things. Just so it don't come out. Oh, perfect, look at that. You bent it. When you hot glue this, you wanna make sure that that is not facing down here because of that drawer. You know what I mean? What I'm gonna do is, I'm going to let this get hot and then we're gonna hot glue some stuff. How fun. All right, then you're gonna hot glue that on. If you can get in there to it. Now, if that don't work, you can always probably use super glue as well, but it looks like I did pretty okay. You just got to figure out how to glue it up in there. And we're going to do it again. Now this depends on how high you want your, your hanger on your display. So if you have really long earrings, maybe you want it higher. If you want, if, if you don't want it that tall, you don't have to do it that tall. But also you got to remember it's got to be even going in here. And we're going to bend it again. Okay. 
Look at that. Bent it. This tool is so great. I'm so glad I invested in this. There's that. And then just make sure it's kind of even. If you bend it too much, fix it. And then you're going to do it again. Now hopefully I have this even. Hopefully I made it even. Then I'm going to take this. Bend. Now it's going to go in here. And we're going to glue it in. Put a little bit of glue on the tip of this because I was having problems a while ago. Now I'm just going to shove that right in there. Pick it up, push it in. And again. There we go. That's going to work for me. How cute is this? And then just kind of work with it to get it straight. However you have to do. You know? Gosh, that's adorable. The test is hanging your little wire, you know? Now, technically, you could hang your stuff just like this, or you can make the little earring coat hangers. So we're going to try that next. Wait, first let's see if this works. There we go. Nice. We're going to make the little hanger. The next step, you're going to need your nippers. So you're going to cut off a piece of wire. Okay. All right. It's all right if it's uneven. But the first part is going to be your hook for your hanger. There's the hook. You're going to take it again like this. So if you think about what a hanger looks like, you know, bend it. So now you got this look. Okay. And then you're going to get to be about right here. And then you're going to bend it again. This time, we're going to bend it this way. See that? There we go. Then you're going to take it and you're going to turn your pliers, little looper pliers. And I'll put a link in the video so you can have that too. And you're going to, let's see, how far is that to there? Maybe right here. Up. It's not even, but it's not bad. See that? I'm just going to nip it off. Alright, now let's try it above view so you can see above how I'm doing it. You just take your little hanger that you just made. Look at that. I have these up too. And you could put a pair on each hanger. So you could have maybe the same, the same or not the same. You know what I mean? Here we go. Let's get some earrings and put on it. Oh yeah. That's adorable. Little coat hangers. Now what you could do is, um, earring hangers. Now what you could do is you could take all these off and you could proceed to paint this if you'd like. Or you can leave it like that. Also, what's kind of cool about this is you can open this up and you can store like uh, extra pairs of whatever same kind of earring, whatever that you're doing in there. 
It's multi-purpose. Okay, and here's another thing that you could do. If your earrings are sliding back and forth on this, and they're like going to one side, and then so then your thing is lopsided, right? What you can do is you can take hot glue and you could put it in the middle so that they're not sliding back and forth. I'm gonna take a glue dot, not a big one, just a small one. Just enough to stop it from moving. You put this one here, and then it's not gonna move back and forth. It's stuck there, you know? That is how you make one of these cute little hangers. Yeah, make your own. Why buy it when you can make it yourself? Super simple. And all you need is some wire. You want it to be kind of sturdy. These are from the Dollar Tree. Oh, and I got these on Amazon, which I will give you a link to my loopers. I'll give you a link to this straight edge ruler, a link to my nippers in case you need those, and definitely a link to my favorite tool ever, which is the hand drill. Fantastic tool. Hope you all liked my video. Until next time, see you later. Oh, don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe.